We are going to present today the same study we have presented during the last AIUM held in Florida in the end of March of 2017. And the study is a correlation between histopathology and a combined use of ultrasound, Doppler, and elastography, what we call the triple test, in the characterization of thyroid nodules. We have no disclosure information. The main goal of our study is to compare the value of the combined use of Josson, Doppler, and elastography, the triple test, in differentiating between benign and malignant thyroid nodules. And we really need a good method to detect the thyroid cancer because in the last three decades, the thyroid cancer has increased three times, mainly in women, when the eye is now the third cancer more common in women. And we have to have a good method to detect the thyroid cancer. And we have examined 129 thyroid nodules and characterized them by the triple test as benign, malignant, and inconclusive using the AS2000. And we correlate our results with histopathology. And the final result is 77 benign and 52 malignant thyroid nodules. And we say that the thyroid nodules benign by ultrasound, if it present at least three or five features, well defined limits of the whole nodules. Uh, there is a halo surrounding the lesion. And the texture of the nodule is hyperchoic than the surrounding parenchyma could be seen small little cysts inside the lesions and eventually we can see coarse or eggshell type of calcification like in this. And we say the thyroid nodules benign by Doppler criteria if you present either one of the following signs. Uh, the vascularization is mainly in the periphery of the lesion. Uh, or the lesion is completely avascular, like in the cystic lesions, or the vessels do not recognize the presence of a nodule in the parenchyma and the vascularization similar to the rest of the parenchyma. This is a sign of pseudonodule. And uh, we say the thyroid nodule is benign by elastographic criteria if it presents at least of one sign. 6% or more of the lesion soft, like in here, 90% soft, or the hardness of the nodule is exactly equal of the uh, surrounded parenchyma, and uh, this is also a sign of pseudonodule. And uh, we say the thyroid nodules malignant by ultrasound criteria if you present at least three or five features, irregular limits, no halo surround the lesion, the nodule is hyperechoic than the surround the parenchyma, and there is little small false hyperechoic of microcalcifications or could be seen local invasion, like in this nodule of thyroid cancer in the left upper pole, where we can see the invasion of the trochea. Trochea is here, here, in this region, there is invasion. Or even a regional invasion, like in this case, when we are seeing the left jugular vein and the cancer is invading the uh, lumen of the jugular vein in a case of anaplastic thyroid cancer. And we say that thyroid nodules malignant by Doppler that if present each one of the following signs. If it, the nodule is mainly hypervascularized than the normal parenchyma and not just hypervascularized but there is Convergent vessels come to the lesions and the vessels see inside are tortures like in here or we can see nest of neovascularization like in here and this is called hyper M. 
And the other pattern is not well known, like in the first one, because we now are seeing the opposite, a hypovascularized pattern. And, but there is a lot of vessels come to the lesions, convergent vessels, and the small amount of vessels you see inside the nodule are like fragmented, like in here, telling us they are tortuous vessels. So we call this sign RPOM. And uh, we call malignant by elastography if the nodule has 6% or more of uh, tissue heart. Like in here, 6% of the lesion is hard, or in this case, like in 8% of the lesion is hard. This is a malignant elastography pattern. And uh, the inconclusive criteria for either method is when uh, either benign or malignant pattern are absent. Like in here, we have a regular nodule with hypoechoic, but no microcalcification, so only two signs. In these cases, we have a lot of vessels surround, but not completely, in many vessels also inside, so it's a Doppler inconclusive. And this other, where we can see half of the nodule hard and half of the nodule um, intermediate consistency. And we have used regression and multiple logistics to establish heat probability of pre-surgical assumptions established by triple tests. And 5% significant level was used in the tests. And uh, so the likelihood of malignancy by ultrasound in the benign pattern is 7.14%. In the malignant pattern, like in here, 89.74%, very good for uh, just one method. And the inconclusive pattern has almost 25% of malignancy associated. And the likelihood of malignancy by Doppler criteria in the benign pattern is 90.37%. In the malignant pattern, when the lesion is hypervascular, like in here, is 71.09%. And when the malignant pattern is hypovascular, but with convergent vessels, is 90%. And the inconclusive pattern is 1905. And the likelihood of malignancy by elastography in the benign pattern when we have a soft lesion is only 90.23%. In the malignant pattern, hard lesion is 89.19%. But in the inconclusive pattern, like in here, 48.15%. In the likelihood of malignancy in the triple test, in the benign pattern, when we have the three patterns benign, ultrasound, Doppler elastography is only 3.99%. When we have all three tests with malignant pattern, the likelihood of malignancy is very, very high, 97.48%. And in the inconclusive pattern, like in here, all three inconclusive, the likelihood of malignancy is 21.93%. Conclusion. The best single test to, to say a nodule is benign is the ultrasound benign pattern, which achieved 92.86% of true positive. If the best single test to say a thyroid nodule is malignant is the Doppler pattern hypovascularized with anomalous and convergent vessels to the lesions. Uh, which achieved 90% of true positive of malignancy. And this find is very interesting because I agree with histological variance more frequently, the papillary cancer uh, that is also hypovascularized. And the combination of ultrasound, Doppler, elastography 
has the best results in detecting thyroid cancer and was superior to any single method to differentiate between benign and malignant thyroid nodules because achieved 97.48% true positive. The triple test potentially could reduce the unnecessary biopsy in thyroid nodules and also surgery. Thank you.